Thank you. All right, so uh, let's begin. So welcome to the uh, the Five Beaches Dating Game Show. I'm your host, Ryan Lee. And now before we answer the big question of what is the perfect romantic date, I would like to ask the contestants to introduce themselves. Uh, hi, my name is Edwin. Hi, I'm Samantha. Hi, I'm Marina. All right, settle down, crowd, settle down. We got a lot of questions to ask here. So uh, I'd like to... Unfor uh, now that introductions are out of the way, I would like to get to know some of the contestants by uh, asking some questions. So uh, let's say, uh, Edwin, can you answer this? Uh, what are the best qualities of a person? Ooh, um, well, I believe the best qualities of a person are, of, of course, uh, their personality. Um, I, like, I, like, um, I like it when they're ambitious. They have goals set for themselves. And I have a thing for smiles, so yeah. What about you, Sam? Yeah, I think, yeah, personality. Um, I think it's important if they're, like, loyal and, like, they're polite to people. Um, and I feel like um, people's eyes tells a lot, like, tells a lot about them. So, yeah. <laughs> nice, nice. All right. What about you, uh, Arena? Can you turn your uh, um, camera on? Oh, sorry. Can you see me? Yep. Yes. Oh, you, it just turned back off. Do you see me? Sorry. Yeah, we see you now. You gotta. I think you gotta keep on the app. Um. Okay. Uh. What about me? Best qualities of person that I think is, firstly, way to presenting uh, yourself to someone because it's truly important the first uh, seeing each other. Um. Also, sociability and uh, checking and respect person at who you're communicating with. All right, uh, I got another question. So what do you see as your best qualities? Uh, I have to think about this. <laughs> um, I believe my best qualities are that I'm very outgoing. Uh, I enjoy a good laugh. And when I meet someone, I really try to get to know the person for who they are and what they want in life, like on a deeper level, I guess. <laughs> Nice, nice. What about you, Sam? Um, I would like to say, I think, I think I'm pretty funny, like once you get to know me, um, and that I think I'm pretty fun to be around. Um, but yeah, I think that's how I would describe myself. All right, what about you, Arena? Um, what about me? To my mind, best qualities, the first is to study point of view as I think I'm an independent person throughout my life. Also, I'm really impressed of my, like, smiling, getting with positive everything we have, and also friendliness, uh, ease of communication. That's it. Nice, nice. All right, so I got a simple question to ask for all you guys. Uh, what do you see yourselves as, extroverted or uh, introverted? The audience can also answer this. Uh, for me, uh, I think I'm more of a, I lean more to being an extrovert, but by this, I mean, like, sometimes I start off as shy. Um, I'm really quiet, like, if I don't know you, um, minimal eye contact and all that. Um, <laughs> but then when I get comfortable, I come out of my shell, I show my true colors, I'm more talkative, I like making jokes, um, yeah, just takes a while to get comfortable. Uh, to jump off that, I think I'm more of a introverted person. Um, uh, like you said, I like once I get to know someone, I'm more extroverted. But as like in general, I would say I'm more as an introverted person throughout. Mm, okay. Uh, what about me? Is I can say that I'm half to half personalities like uh half of an extrovert half of an introvert because it's it's changing from time to time it depends from my mood and like sometimes uh, as we're talking about exactly for the first uh, day uh i think we should be more extrovert because you have to know 
each other better and yeah you you have to talk you cannot be like introvert through that time that is why I just as we're talking about right now I think you have to be more extrovert than introvert yeah I would say um I'm more in between two but I lean more um uh introvert but yeah I feel like it depends but yeah most of the time introvert I would say Anyone else would like to answer that question? What about you, host? Uh, for me, I feel like I'm I'm an introvert here. I I like staying inside. Uh, I don't really talk much to people. That's all I gotta say. <laughs> <laughs> I see someone's mics on. Would you like to answer, it, Sean? <laughs> Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, I, I'd also have to agree with, like everyone else here, I guess. Uh, I, I, to like a stranger, I guess I'd, I'd be pretty introverted, uh, not really uh, into conversing with strangers, right? But uh, you know, it's it's always it's it's different when I'm with like the boys, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, going off of what everyone's saying, I feel like everyone's like introverts, I guess. Like, if you don't know someone, like everyone just turns into that until they get comfortable enough to like be outgoing with someone like just talk enough yeah yeah all right so for the uh, contestants i would like to ask some uh, controversial questions i guess you could say so what do you guys what do you think are the uh, the best places to take a date to have a date i guess you know like a restaurant i don't know amusement park is this a first date yeah. yeah, like first date. You know, first impressions matter. You should take them on a great place. I think you should take them um, roller skating to see if they're athletic slightly and fun. And maybe athletic? like sushi afterwards to see if they like sushi because that's like a big deal breaker. <laughs> that's facts, yeah. <laughs> Got something to say, Edwin? Uh, yeah, Um, I think you should take them to an amusement park. Um, because I read this because I'm a psychology major and in my introduction to psychology um, textbook, I read that um, since like you get excited during uh, when you ride a roller coaster and the person you're with, you associate like if you go on a date with them or you or you go with them to the uh, amusement park, you associate that excitement with them and you think they're an energetic, outgoing person. So. I think that's a good first impression. Nice, nice. What about you, Sam? Yeah, I like the amusement park idea. I think that's a good first date. Anything to say, Arena? Mm, well, uh, yeah, that's that's really good idea. Also, I'd like to say that. Um, I don't really think that uh, the place for the first day, like cafe or restaurant is a really good idea because uh, to my mind, you have to know each other better and firstly have to start from like truly feelings, truly emotions and like something actively or like a kind of park may help with that to know each other better to get an understanding of each one's feelings. <laughs> All right, so uh, moving on to the uh, next question. So what do you guys think is like the best food to eat during like a, like a date? Like let's say you're going to a restaurant and then well, what's like the best food? Do you want to like dig into like a heavy food, like a steak or something or like go, go light with like a salad? Maybe like soup plantation. Soup plantation. I've never been there. Oh, I think I like oh, you can a lot of options. I mean, I'm all, I'm all for sushi. Sushi. <laughs> Anytime, whether it's for a date or not. But Sean, you're like putting big pieces in your mouth. It's not like. That looks not, weird. I don't think the girl would want to. <laughs> what do you mean? We're just we're just enjoying <laughs> a night out, eating some sushi. And just embarrassing to just be shoving. I don't know. I mean, how else are you gonna eat it? Like yeah. what? <laughs> you're not gonna cut it up with like a, a, a knife, knife and, and just. Yeah. I know that's why. Take it to like. 
And they're smaller. Or something. Steak and salad. Steak and salad. <laughs> yeah, you know, go heavy with steak. What do you guys think? Oh, love. oh. Have you guys ever tried pho? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I prefer doing that. It's really, really good. I really like it. Really good. Yeah. What, what do you think, Sam? Oh, I sorry. Would prefer sorry. Salad, for example, it's more light to like to get and to start doing something else than eating. Oh, so you're, you're a light light food person? Yeah. Anything to add, Sam? I don't know. I guess it really it just depends. I mean, I think pizza would be good, or like, yeah, like salad, something like that. Like it depends on where you're doing. Okay, if you're watching cinema, like okay, pizza is really good idea. But if you're going across something or riding a bike or something around, like actually, you're. I don't think think it's a good idea of eating steak. Maybe. Mm -hmm. All right, so I got another question. So uh, what do you guys think is the best time to have a date? You know, like morning, afternoon, nighttime, you know, you can have it like like near the after like evening where you can see the sunset, nice lovely view. What do you guys think? Well, in my opinion, I think the perfect, perfect time. Yeah, like if you're outside, it'd be um, um, right before sunset because like, you can't go wrong with that. Like it's a, be a beautiful view. You can take pictures and feel like it makes it more memorable. I would have to disagree. I think um I think the nighttime's better when you're going on a date. Yeah, just nighttime just hits different. That does. Can you explain why? Yeah. Why why the nighttime? Yeah, why do you think the nighttime hits in a different way than uh, okay. the sunset does? I don't know. I, I don't know. I just, I'm more of a night. I'm more of a, what is it? No. A night owl, I guess. So, yeah. Like, I, I cannot explain uh, my opinion fully because uh, I say, I can say that, yeah, um, the, the sunset is truly a good time to like, to know each other better, to see pictures, something like that. Like it's, a kind of standard about night um i cannot say something because i hadn't <laughs> really uh but i think it, it like something like magical i think it's it have a kind of something interesting for the yeah night. more memorial yeah so uh here's the final question so i would like to ask uh what's the best season to have a date like spring summer fall you know winter during the winter you can cuddle up have a nice like hot chocolate spring you can see all the flowers i, mean, I feel like spring because it, it's like it has the best weather like it's either raining or it's like sunny like i don't know i just don't like the cold i actually prefer the winter because uh, i mean you should cuddle you could um drink hot cocoa watch christmas movies you could even go um to houses with like a lot of lights and take pictures you know it, i feel like it's a beautiful season to have wait a date. i have a question are all these like questions based on the first day or just like overall relationship uh i i feel like some of these questions are based either i think for like the questions i'm asking right now it's like relationship wise all right yeah okay what would you prefer mm. As for me, uh, I would prefer the kind of summer or the middle of uh, autumn because um, through my country, for example, spring is truly rainy, it, it is dirty, it is uncomfortable to walk across or sit in home. I really like that. And um, so as, as I can, I can imagine that uh, I'd like to like walk across doing something like uh, actively and that's why I think summer it's warm, it's, uh, it isn't dirty and like it's beautiful. Uh, also autumn, it's truly beautiful. All right, so now uh, we'll, oh, we'll be taking questions now. 
Wait, um, I don't know. Where are you from? Russia. Russia. Oh. So this is the other time to ask questions if you guys right, have any. Um, how do you describe yourself, Ryan? Me? Uh, it depends, I guess. I so on the on the outside, I'm just like introverted. You know, I don't really talk much. I don't really approach people. But like once once like I actually get to know someone, I talk a lot, and I just can't shut up sometimes. Right, right. Uh, I wanted to ask one. Um, have you guys ever had a bad first date? Any of you? Uh, no. <laughs> I can't say I've had a bad first date, but there, <laughs> there was one time when I made plans with someone with like this girl, and uh, <laughs> I, I just like forgot to show up that time, so I just kind of left her there. <laughs> I like Pretty overslept. Oh. I, I overslept. <clears throat> so no, I actually wait. made her wait there for a little bit. Oh, kind happened? of a, not a good thing. So that's like a proud of me. <laughs> you asked. <laughs> Anyone else want to share their terrible secrets? Um, we, we got time for I like one more. I, I was gonna say I had stuff. a I had a pretty bad first date at the beginning of the year that was just really really awkward <laughs> me and the guy just didn't see eye to eye it was just really really awkward just sitting in the middle of yogurt land making small talk it was not good yogurt? Yeah. I, th- I think everyone had something like that because when, you, when you're a student like okay what are we going to talk about how's the weather going like Okay. <laughs> My worst nightmare. Then, then you have to cut out a cup of coffee and like, oh, that's good. I'm going home to 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 change my dress and <laughs> I'm Don't not uh, I'm not going to bed. <laughs> so oh, uh, I, I I have a question. Sorry, just no, real quick. Um, this is mainly for the people who are, or I guess the the contestants, right? Like the people who started this. Mm-hmm. Uh, who who here has actually had a relationship experience <laughs> <He's gone. laughs> okay. All right, I just wanted to say <laughs> not me wait what's the question uh how, of the people in this like the group presenting how, how many of you guys have like uh, experience in a relationship or something <laughs> like that oh this experience like you've been sure, in or have been oh, in you've one. been just experience uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Sorry. Have you been in a relationship, Sam? That, that's what he's trying to say. Oh no, not a serious one. No. Not a serious. I had one serious for one and a half year, but it over this year. Mm. Oh. <laughs> All right. I would like to end this now. We're going a little bit over time, so. Uh... <laughs> That's all for yeah. now. We have time. That's all. That's all we have. So we'll see you guys next time on the next show. Thank you for uh, coming. Yeah. Bye.